We're hitting the high incline pronated grip dumbbell overhead press. So I got my bench set to the high incline, about a 60 degree angle. Remember a regular incline was about a 45, a low incline was about a 20. So we're kind of making our way up. We're not ready to have that full overhead position but we are still building up the strength in the shoulder, increasing our mobility and learning how to use those shoulders effectively with support from the bench. So making sure my feet are planted, making sure I'm pushing myself into the bench, but again, big tension in the belly. Get those ribs down so that as I open those hands up, I'm not forced into that big extension. Ribs are down and I'll have my position here. Now when we bring it down, we're talking about pulling the dumbbells towards us and with that elbow out wider now, you'll see naturally my stopping point might be a little bit different. There's going to be a little less depth when you go with this wider position because we are going to put a little bit more strain on that upper pec and the front of the shoulder. So be conscious of that mid and upper back as you pull those dumbbells down. Okay, feel that natural stopping point about a 90 degree angle, give or take, right? Once that elbow drops below the shoulders, typically where we stop, but you wanna feel it out and then press back to the top. Keeping those dumbbells nice and controlled. We're not trying to swing them together. So putting it all together, bring it up to our lap, lock those elbows in and pop them up to the shoulders. Strong as we sit back, okay? Now that first one, feel free to press to the top as needed. Then we got palms facing the feet, belly is braced, pull. Maintaining those elbows below the shoulder right there, drive back to the top. And then bring it in and smooth, okay? Give it a shot, continue to develop those shoulders in a position that's a little bit safer for you for now until you're ready to go overhead.